Coming to the queer think tank, I really thought I was going to find tables and chairs and a big screen and taking notes. That was kind of what I really thought I was going to encounter. But when I saw the program, I was quite surprised when I saw a voice therapy movement, when I saw the art. But I value the fact that it was the first conference in my adult life where I moved from my head into my body. And I think moving forward, I'm able to take this into, into my ministry. I'm an embodied person and, and that's just such a beautiful thing. The session on reflecting on vulnerability and what that means to me and what that looks like, particularly as an embodied person, but also as a, as a queer person, also as a minister, that was a powerful session because it allowed me to voice things that I've always felt and never spoke about because I couldn't. Um, the spaces were just not there. And so for the first time I was in a room with like-minded people and who, who were able to hold me and I thought that was absolutely beautiful and I, I, I'll value that. I'll always value this experience. <laughs>